24. Let's close the program out. I'm going to show you what other people don't show you. I'm going to do a little editing. I'm just basically show you everything that this program can do in a very brief, detailed fashion. This is CyberLink PowerDirector 2024 or PowerDirector 365 or PowerDirector 22 Lifetime. Video Denoise Try Now are these six shortcuts. The new project is your full program. If you hit a shortcut and open it up, this is what happens. It asks you to click and drag a video. Let me back out of here for one second. You have your aspect ratio, where your recent projects are at over here, and you open up to where your projects are at. So let's open up AI when removal. Let's open up and add a video in that has when. Notice how the program opens and puts it to the beginning of the program. It automatically ready. Hit apply once. One step, you're in. I can extend my video. Over here is where the wind is at. I can split my video. And split again. Now I'm going to show you where AI is at by highlighting, edit, audio, wind. Let's play the video so you can hear the wind. What we're going to do now is you can hear it scrolls the audio back and forward. Edit, wind removal, apply, how quickly it does it. This will take about 30 seconds to do this minute and a half video or less. It creates a separate track as you can see. Let's play the video for you. The Vizcar PD-102 ladies and gentlemen. It has a little bit of a spatial but it taking all that wind out. Control Z, back things, delete things. In the shortcuts you have in the video, all these different areas of interest, let's bring you to AI Sky Replacement. They don't put this in the shortcut at the beginning, but pick a sky. Notice the sky, how it's going to change. It's going to take a little time. You can start to do different things with it. You have in the audio, more things to choose from. Do your speech to text and more. And animation will open up and will look like these things. That's your animation. That's a lot of the things you have to choose from. To close all this out, you have in, out, and loop. To close it all out, hit the X button. And it brings you back to the main screen. These are the tabs on top, file, edit, your preferences here, as well as the cog gear over here. You have your tools, back up one second, you edit all these, your preferences here, your cog is there, and if you click over here on the video, this little one for more features are a little bit more than what the edit has over here. You have your tools, you have your viewing, your playback, your undo, redo, and export. If you don't have any things to redo, it'll just say undo. Over here, the three dashes, you have these things to do, that's your main library, and then you have this area that all media, video only, and so forth. You have your import, you open up in imports and you have your record audio which I'm doing right now with this particular program called screen recorder full screen game locked app custom device the webcam the audio pause stop and so forth take a picture now what I want to do is is X this out I want to Say no. It opens up again to PowerDirector and let's open up a new project. 
So you can see that you have your click and drag and over here. You could click here all you want, nothing's going to happen. You must click over here, open up your video, and it brings it to the timeline. You have a little blue thing tells the information. If I bring it to the timeline, that's exactly where it's going to stay unless you go into the preference and you come in here and you start to work things to your preferences and then this may go to the beginning like so and on timeline one you're able to increase the timeline decrease the timeline you have your audio mixer highlight your video place your marker to show the split we have a trim which is at the beginning when you turn the program on you have your crop that you could grab each of the corners and you could drip bring in bringing in will crop and adjust and if you get the two arrows like so you can rotate and then you could cancel out say no back to the norm if you want to do all this you just simply come to this window increase decrease rotate move everything's done right there you edit again brings you into your videos your audios and your animation let's go into the video Let's show you how to get to the motion tracker to blur the face. You have this box which you drag over where the thing is moving. You can add a video, a photo by here. You click the FX, you get a window that basically you blur your face. Hit track, you're done. You can add a track, two tracks, three tracks and blur as much as you want and this will process. Now I showed you how to do a sky replacement. You have a style plug-in, action camera, video in reverse, lens correction, and more. Now I am gonna X this out, X this out, and we have here is effects. In effects, you have body effects on the beginning, and you could do anything. It attract around the person. Does it look only winded? going to attract we around see the, the person? And this is what this is all about. You have electric. It's going to do electric moves around me. Does it look windy? You now, don't I don't want to get into blow? great detail, but that is how you would use that. You have a whole bunch of titles. You have a blogger's social title. So let's bring in the title over here, play it for you. You can edit it by simply hitting on the thing twice. It will open up. These blue tips will go away once you click on every one. And you can change the 4K ad title and by cyberly. X out if you don't want to do anything. And motion graphics is basically about the same if asked, but a little different. You have overlays. These basically will be about the same as the existing one. And you simply just come here and you scroll through everything you want. You could come in here, you could do your own sketching or whatnot, I believe. You hit the plus, create a new overlay from an image. And then you could come over here with more options, make them large, small, and so forth. So I've basically gone over this whole program. You have your subtitles, which your text-to-speech, you create subtitles, and then you have templates. The outro is hot. You have intro and outro. And just drag them in, timeline, and then you come in here and you just uh, come in here and you start to edit. It's going to process and add to the line. Very simple 
and D. I hope this is a program that you may be looking for. And there it is, the program here, play it for you. All that could be edited out in the timeline. And when you're all finished, just hit the X and then the program reopens. Have a great day and enjoy.